All right, guys, Mike the Coder here. We're going to do another lead code problem. I noticed in my other vid that um, I have literally been screaming too much in the microphone, and that's not, it's not good because what happens is it gets clipped. But we're going to do another Google question, and this is called Evaluate Reverse Polish, Polish Notation, okay? So evaluate the value of a arithmetic expression in, re in reverse Polish. Polish notation, man, that is a mouthful. So the valid operations are plus, minus, multiplication, and division. And each operand may be an integer or another expression. Okay, so what they mean is that, let's say we have this um, this, this example here, and I'll actually pull up paint real quick. We're gonna go on this Google grind, Google grind set. I'm in the Google grind set right now, if that makes any sense, Google grind set tomorrow there's going to be a code forces contest so i'm going to be prepared for that also i have not done the ad coder in a while so i might also do that also um but yeah i also haven't done code code chef in a while so i just got a book called um competitive programming Four also so i'm going to go th go through that um it's going to come in like a week though so anyway let's go through this example problem and we'll see how this works okay so we're given this tokens of two, one, plus three, and then multiply. And our output is nine. And the reason why is because um, two plus one times three is equal to nine. So essentially what they did is what they took this plus sign here, the first plus sign they saw, and they applied it to both of these expressions of two and one. So that's why they got two plus one, okay? Then once they have this number, they took the next sign, which is multiplication, and they applied it with, um, with three. So they took, once you have three, you apply this multiplication sign to here, multiply by three and you get nine. Okay. So that's the first example. So the tokens are, are like an array of like strings, by the way. Okay. So the second one is um, a little different. So we have four, 13, five division plus sign. So essentially what they did was um, they went through here and then they found this division sign here. And they just applied this division sign to the two previous numbers of three and five, uh, 13 and five. So that's why they have 13 and five here. Then once they evaluate 13 over five, they took uh, this plus sign here from all the way at the end and they applied it with the result of 13 divided by five and they use that with four. So that's why they get four plus 13 divided by five and it gives us six, okay? Okay, and then the third example. Um, yeah, so a little tricky, but it is what it is. So we have 10, 6, 9, 3, plus, minus 11 times division, multiply 17 plus 5 plus. Okay, so they go through here and they find the first, um, first uh, operation sign, so th this plus sign here. And they're just going to apply this plus sign with this 9 and 3. Okay, nine and three. So that's where they get this. That's where this they get this from. Then what they do is they take the next sign, which is this multiply multiplication sign, and they use it with the result of nine plus three here, and they apply it with uh, minus eleven. So minus eleven gets put down here, and that's where they get this multiplication part. Okay. Then um, they take this division sign here, this division, and they just apply it to the result of the last number that they saw which is six so after applying all those values they took the next operation and apply it to the last result they had which was six so then you have six divided by whatever our result that we had before and then um once you have we go for the next operation multiplication they just take this and apply it to the results of what we had before and then the previous number which was 10 here okay and then after that, um, that's going to give you like this giant result here, which is, uh, I believe, this 10 plus 10 times 6 divided by negative 132. Okay, and then once they have that, they take this 17, uh, and then they have the, the whole result from this, what we had earlier here. And then they t apply the addition sign to both of these two numbers that we have here. So essentially what they're doing is that they're taking the next 
sign that they had, like whatever operation sign that was, and applying it to the previous two numbers that they saw beforehand. Okay, and then yeah. So then after we have this huge result, we get the next sign, which is this pl plus sign, and then we apply it again with the result of all these values here. Okay, and then in the end they get uh, whatever the number was, uh, 22. Okay, so that's what that's the explanation. Okay, so how do you do this problem? Um, sim most simple way to do it is actually using a stack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like push the previous two numbers onto the stack. So we're gonna have like one stack here, right? Uh, let's call, just call it like our stack. Okay, and then we're gonna push the first two values here. So like while looping through our, this array, we're gonna push like two yeah, so if it's a number, if it's a number, we're gonna push the number onto our stack. So we're gonna push two and then we push one, two, push one. Okay, so then, okay. So then, uh, yeah, as we're looping through all the values here, we push two and push one. Um, if we see an operation here, that's not a number, like a plus sign, division sign, multiplication sign, uh, subtraction sign, uh, I think, multi yeah, I think, I think that's all it, yeah. Plus, minus, multiplication, division. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pop two of the values out of our, st our stack. So we have to make sure our stack is like not uh, empty, by the way. So we're gonna pop the two values, so pop one, pop two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just apply the, the operation, whatever operation that we're currently on. So we'll do like one plus two, because the plus sign is the operation that we currently on. And then we, let's just apply this operation. So then what's the value with the expression? One plus two will give us three. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to push three, our result of three onto our stack. So we push three here. Okay. And yeah, we push three here and then, then that's uh that's it. Right. So then this operation is done and we'll go to the next num number. So here now we have another number three. So let's just push that onto our stack because it's a number. So we're just going to push three onto our stack and then, yeah. And then afterwards uh, we go to the next value, which is multiplication. So what is multiplication? Multiplication is not a number. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop the, the previous two values off of our stack. So we pop three, pop three, and we're just gonna multiply. We're gonna use this multiplication sign on the three, two numbers. Three times three give us nine. And then, um, yeah, then after that's done, we just push the nine onto our stack, which will give us nine. Yeah, and then in the end, our stack is just gonna have one number nine and then we could just return that number, okay? So yeah, that's the gist of this code and it's not that not that difficult. Um, I'll just show you guys the code now after explaining the algorithm. Okay, so we have our, our stack, which is just a stack of integers. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna loop through all the stri uh, strings in our tokens, so the, all the, the values in our array. Um, here, what I do is I check if it's a digit. So if it's a digit or like a number or something, or like this current size is greater than one. So this current size is greater than one is just seeing if it's like, maybe it's a two digit number or three digit number, right? If it's any kind of digit, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna convert it into a number, convert the string into a number and push it onto our stack. And the reason why I do this is because I don't wanna, I don't wanna push like, if it's like a operation like, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. I don't want to push that onto my stack, right? I just want numbers. So that's what this if condition is checking for. It's checking if it's a digit or it's a two digit or three digit, or four digit number, right? It'll just check like one of those, okay? Okay, so we push uh, the current number onto our stack. All right, now otherwise, uh, this else statement is, is in the case when we're actually uh, looking at a operation like a plus sign, div division sign, subtraction sign, multiplication sign, addition sign. So in this case, what we do is we just take the two numbers from off of our stack. So here I take the top part, our stack dot top. So you get number two first, and I get number one. It really doesn't matter. Um, in C plus plus, what happens is that the um, yeah, what happens is that the values that you have, when you get do dot top, it doesn't actually pop, it doesn't return anything. So you have to actually 
get the top value and then pop it. I, I know it's kind of weird. In Java, I, and I think in Python, it's different, where if you do a pop, it actually returns the value. But in C++, it doesn't do that. So yeah, so now we have number two and then number one. Okay. Um, then I have a result variable, which is just going to do the operation of our result. So if the current string is a plus sign, I just add number one plus number two. Um, if the current string is a subtraction sign, I subtract one and sub subtract number two. If the current string is a multiplication sign, I, sub I multiply number one and number two. And if the current string is a division sign, I divide number one and number two. Okay. So yeah, um, I believe, yeah. And the reason why I do two first and then one first is because you need to do, uh, it's always like the second number is like the, the last value that we just pushed, right? So that's why it's like, if I push two and then I push one, one would be the second number without applying it, right? Like if I, if we go back to our thing, if I push two and then I push one, like if I'm looping through this and I push two first and then I push one, one is the second number that we were looking at. So we actually have to apply the operation onto two first, on the, the first number of two first and then plus the one, okay? Yeah, that's just how stacks work. So yeah, um, if the string is any of these values, just apply it to the result. And in the end, we're just gonna push the result back onto our stack, okay? And at the end of the return statement, we just return the top value, which is our stack.top, because that in the end, we'll have like one number left and that'll be the result of our answer. And we just return that, okay? So yeah, we return the top value, our stack.top, and that's the last number on our stack. And yeah, uh, you guys wanted me to run this, so I'll just run it. And it gets AC'd, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this code. Um, there's not much else to it in this problem. Hope you guys enjoyed this, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very calm, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.